I am the DB2 lead and delivery manager here at Xdivia. I'm an IBM Gold consultant and IBM champion. Uh, IDUG is a conference for uh, by the it's the International DB2 Users Group Conference, and we're talking right now about the North America Technical Conference in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, and it's coming up the first week of June of 2019. And Xtivia has an extended presence at IDUG this year. Um, we're, we're having a booth on the expo floor, um, so you can come and if you have if this is if you're watching this before the conference, you can come and see what's what what kind of services we have available. Meet me, talk to me, ask me about my blog at datageek.blog. And uh, we're also I'm also doing a lot of things at the conference this year. A little bit worried I might have taken on a few too many things, but uh, the day before the conference, I'm teaming with Michael traffic to offer a seminar called Start Here, uh, DB2 Basics for Administrators and Developers. Um, and it's really a session that's designed for people with two years of experience or less with DB2. Um, if you're brand new to DB2, that's great. If you've been working with DB2 and are self-taught, hopefully it can spackle and fill in some of the knowledge holes that you might run into when you're self-taught. Uh, I'm also presenting on Tuesday and on Wednesday. One of those is going to be on HADR uh, in the real world, so theory to practice, kind of the basics of HADR and how it can help your high availability strategy, and a few mistakes that I've seen in the real world and how to avoid those mistakes, what are the lessons that we've learned from, from those mistakes that we've seen made. And then the other session is going to be on health checks. Um, that's one of my specialties. I spend a lot of time checking the health of DB2 databases. And so I've got a presentation where I talk through not just some of the things I check, uh, so, but some of the methodology I use, what tools I use, and kind of how to present the stuff, how to come up with um, a document that's interesting to executives and techies and the whole spectrum. Um, and then I'm also working with a teammate here at Xdivia, Ash Care, um, and we're going to be presenting on Thursday about using DB2 PD for everyday troubleshooting, going into some of the things that you can do with DB2 PD and how you might do those same things without DB2 PD, uh, compare and contrast and what we find useful with that particular tool. So the International DB2 Users Group, uh, the conferences that it puts on are the best DB2 education out there, uh, other than one-on-one -on -one education. They're the best DB2 education out there. And so it's it's really important to me to go to them every year. I'm, um, I'm at the North American Conference every year, and I'm at the European Conference most years as well, and uh, presenting at those conferences. Um, and the thing is, it's the only place where you get some of the information. Uh, this year at IDUG, they're going to be announcing a new version of DB2, so DB2 version 11.5. Um, it hasn't been announced yet. It's just about to be announced um, at that conference. And they have a whole track dedicated just to 11.5. And I believe the, the chief architect of DB2 is doing four or five different sessions. Uh, she's amazing. Carrie Romanoff, she, she does some great presentations and goes into technical detail that you really can't find uh, in other locations. Um, but the other thing about the IDUG conferences is it's not just the IBMers. You get that IBM perspective but you also get the user perspective. So you see other people who are using the DB2 product and, and learn from them. I come away from IDUG conferences inspired with all kinds of new ideas to go back to work and do new things and, and tweak the way I'm doing things. And that's been true for the last seven years since I've been attending regularly. And I have, I have no doubt that it will continue to be true no matter how advanced I get in my career. There's not a lot we know about the new version yet. 11.5 is just about to be announced. Um, there's a few clues that we can get from the things that we've seen coming out in the beta versions. Um, the early access program is open to anybody. Um, and it, it was interesting, Paul Bird tweeted um, a, a couple of weeks ago about a feature. Um, there was a feature list that came out with the early access program and he said number five is for Amber Crooks. Um, and number five on that list was the ability to invalidate one plan from the pack 
package cash, and that's something I've been asking them for for a while. Um, there are other neat features, I'm sure. I think that we're going to see um, uh, schema level grants uh, so that we can grant and revoke permissions at a schema level instead of just a table level. Uh, but the other details aren't public yet. We're going to see it at IDUG. We'll find out what's really in there. So we're talking about a little bit about what we're hoping to see in the new version of 11.5. Um, however, it's amazing to me how many old versions we see out there. Um, we've had requests here at Extivia for working with old versions as old as 7.2. Um, and if you're not that familiar with DB2 versions, when I started my career 18 years ago, 7.2 was the current version then. Um, so that's some pretty old software. One of the great things about DB2 is that it's rock solid. You know, you can install DB2 and not have to touch it for five years. It can be running just fine for, for 10 years. There, there are a lot of things like that that happen. And because of that, people don't tend to upgrade it. If it isn't broke, don't fix it, right? So uh, we have to encourage people to upgrade. It's a struggle that we fight with new clients, with existing clients, um, and just when I'm talking to people out there, there's a lot of people who are still on 9.7, which has been uh, out of service for uh, more than a year, more than two years, probably about three years at this point. Um, and the problem that you run into then is when you run into a problem where you need IBM support, or you can't get it. Um, and the only way to get it is through an expensive extended support contract. We have one client recently who had a data corruption problem. And when they had that data corruption problem, we needed to get a, a password from IBM support to run the DB2 Dart tool in the mode that we needed. And because of that, they had to buy an extended con support contract. If they had only upgraded ahead of time, they would have been able to get around it. And obviously, once you get to a point of corruption, that's too late to upgrade. You don't want to upgrade when you have corruption in a database. The other main reason to be updating besides that is all the fixes and all the high impact, uh, the hyper APARs we call them, the high impact or pervasive uh, problems or security issues. Um, databases are at the heart of keeping your data secure. The, the DNA of your organization needs to be secure in those databases. And we can't do that if we're not applying the latest fixes um, to your database. So if we get the latest, the latest version or the latest fix packs or you know just slightly behind the latest version as long as we're close then we're really doing our the best job we can to protect your data so if you're interested in more information about idug that's idug.org very easy address to get to um, here at extivia we do a lot of work we work with a lot of databases and we'd like to apply our expertise expertise to your environment. We'd like to be able to help you out. So if you go to virtual-dba.com virtual or extivia.com, then you can go and find, find out more information about me and my team and what kind of services we offer. We offer health checks, we offer ongoing support. We'd love to work with your databases. Um, and I, I tweet, my, I'm at ember underscore crooks on Twitter. Um, I'm always happy to answer questions. Um, I also blog at datageek.blog. I've got over 500 blog articles out there by myself and a couple of guest bloggers as well. Um, and I'm always looking to talk with geeks about databases. That's what I love to do.